The Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore held their annual cookie competition, virtually, of course, this year. Several Jersey chefs showcased their spin on the classic cookies. Jersey Matters' Kimberly Kravitz was there to MC. The winning cookie will be announced virtually on Sunday. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. March is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month, an awful disease that afflicts over 2 million people in America. Kimberly Kravitz spoke with a New Jersey man who was recently diagnosed with MS. This is after taking care of his mother, who lived with MS all her life. I just knew that in my mind, I was saying to myself, multiple sclerosis. This is multiple sclerosis. I know the symptoms. I've read about it. I've been an advocate for years. I was a part of the MS society. And I just do truly felt that I had multiple sclerosis at that point. March is MS Awareness Month, which is an immune-mediated condition of the brain and central nervous system. And as Daryl explains, it could be one very ugly and debilitating disease. Multiple sclerosis, you know, it is a disease that attacks your central nervous system. Your central nervous system, there's like 300 trillion nerves in your body. You know, it, it attacks it. It beats it up. 2020 was a pivotal year for Daryl Waterman. The 45-year-old man and restaurant owner dealt with the stress of business lockdown with COVID. He celebrated the birth of his first child. He founded his lifelong dream of starting a foundation in honor of his late mother who died of MS. And then, ironically, one month later, was diagnosed with the same disease. As a caretaker, I'm not, yes. I mean, I, I definitely um, showered her, brushed her unfortunately wiped her, you know, but that's what life was about. She was diagnosed in 1966. So the first MRI I think was ever 1985. So whoever that doctor was to say in 1966 that your mother has multiple sclerosis is just amazing. Fortunately, multiple sclerosis is much different in modern times than it was years ago. So historically, MS was kind of a, a diagnosis where you made the diagnosis and there wasn't much you could do, like you, like you mentioned. Um, we would treat people uh, symptomatically. We would treat people with steroids for the acute attacks. Um, and we would basically, in, the, in those days, say diagnose and adios, meaning we, we diagnose you and then see you back again the next time you had a problem. Um, and that was maybe 20, 20 some years ago. The odds of a child and mother both having MS are few and far between, but the risk also can't be ruled out. So if you have a first degree relative who has had MS, like a brother or, or a sister or a parent, um, you maybe have like maybe two to 3% higher than the general population. So the risk is there. How do you feel now? I feel great. I do. I do. There's some times where I have some hiccups, but that's okay. That's part of what the disease is. Started my infusions already. I'm on Ocrevus, and it's a once every six month infusion. Initially, uh, the first therapies were injectables that you would inject yourself beneath the skin you know, once a week or every day. Um, then we moved to kind of oral therapies, which were high, high efficacy therapies. And the therapies keep getting more and more focused. Um, and the, the later therapies have been infusion therapies, which are given on cycles every month, every, every, uh, every six months. Uh, and that's the kind of therapy that he's on right now. And that's a high efficacy therapy, meaning um, a therapy that is very aggressively treating his illness. Treatment and care is expensive, though, which is exactly why Daryl came up with the idea of the Single Parents for MS Foundation. Well, I couldn't imagine that if someone was a single parent right now and going through what they have to go through, how hard it could be financially on them. We've raised about $25,000 so far in just a couple months virtual. You know, we haven't had an, an event yet. So if you feel you have symptoms such as dizziness, blurred vision, fatigue or numbness, you should talk to your doctor. But I also know that I'm in the right care. I know the right people, you know, so use my resources to make sure that you're on the right path. If you'd like to spread awareness, you can grow out a mustache for mustaches for MS like Daryl did. And if you have any interest in research or donating to the cause, you can log on to their website, singleparentsms.org. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.